Hey guys, welcome to Allotronics, I'm Gregory and today a quick update about the 10 GHz source project. We have the first integration of the modules here and we have the circuit working. We have the VCO working, the PLL, let's zoom here, the sampler and here the frequency tripler and the 10 GHz output here. 10 GHz guys, it's working. We need to make it better, we need, we need to remove these spikes here, we need to improve the, the PLL a bit, but the things are starting to work. Before I show you the circuit, how the circuit's going, I will explain the setup here. I'm generating the two reference signals that will be generated by the next module I need to, to, to make using now the two signal generators here. We are generating the sampler frequency, 107 megahertz, that will be generated by an overtone oscillator running at the fifth harmonic with a 21.45 crystal. So the reference signal will be 107.2 megahertz. And here we need to generate this frequency here divided by 12, okay? Because the input of the PLL has a divided a divider by 12. You can see there this uh, um, I see here is a divider by 12 and actually this is a fake part. So I need to buy a better IC because this one here is a fake IC that's not going up to the frequency I we need it to go. Okay? Unfortunately, I got a fake part. It happens when we buy a, a part from AliExpress. But it's no problem, guys. So I'm generating the signals with the signal generators, okay? Two signal generators. And to be able to see the output of the VCO, we can see that the VCO go is going to a um, um, power splitter here. And one port goes to the mixer here where we down convert the signal to be able to see here on the spectral analyzer because this spectral analyzer goes up to 3 gigahertz and the VCO is running at 3.33333 gigahertz, okay? So I'm using here a 1 gigahertz source to down convert the signal to 2.33333 gigahertz so we can be able to, to study the signal here and measure its phase noise using this spectral analyzer here. This spectral analyzer here is bothering me today because it seems to have a problem on the keyboard. So I'm very annoyed by this uh, machine here. We need to open it, I think, and clean the keyboard because it seems to be always pressing the trace button. So I can't uh, uh, enter any value here. It's a mess today. I don't know why uh, it was working. It always worked and now the keyboard seems to to have a problem. But let's move on. Okay, guys. Part, uh, part of the signal from the other port here on the power divider, you can see that this power divider I made using <laughs> true, true hole resistors. <laughs> and it works really well, guys. <laughs> Man, when you don't have the equipment, we need to, to make the equipment. <laughs> so let's do it. The other part of the signal, of the VCO, goes here to the frequency tripler, where where's it's been tripled to 10 GHz. We can see that we have here a low signal, less than negative 10 dBm. It will be higher when we don't uh, have the uh, power loss of the power splitter and the power loss here on the cable, okay? So when it is directly connected here, we get zero dBm out of the tripler. This tripler here, guys, I think that I will design it different if I make it, it make it again. Probably we need to make it on a um, uh, PTFE board, uh, but let's let's go. This is what we have today, and it's working here. The output signal has these two spikes here that are spaced apart here, are sidebands spaced apart from the reference signal of the PLL. Uh, this will happen 
in a PLL, it's normal, but I also think that we have some crosstalk here in the boards because it's only a test setup. You can see that if I place my hands here on the on the cables, oh, now I get it out, out of lock, but you can see that we can decrease the spikes. It's a bit difficult here, but we can decrease a lot the spikes. So probably part of the power of these spikes here is um, signal from the signal generator leaking and affecting the VCO performance, I think. And I hope. <laughs> um, you can see here the PLL board. Let's take a look. The PLL board, I had a lot of problems, but now it's working. I discovered that my footprint of the flip-flop was wrong for more than five years, I think. And as I always use the flip-flop as a frequency divider, I was not using, I never, I think very uh, few times I used the set and reset pins of the flip-flop and my footprint was swapped, the saturate and reset pins was, were swapped, but now I made this little technical adjust <laughs> here to make it work. Uh, the PLL has an adjust here of the locking range of the output. I'm still not liking the loop filter I calculated. In the next video, we'll show how I calculated and I uh, simulated this um, loop filter here, but I think we can improve it. And this LED here is the lock indicator, okay? So you can see that if I place my hands close here, the VCO goes out of, out of lock because the frequency changes a lot when you place the hand near here because the bandpass filter is exposed. Okay, but you can see that the PLL do its best to get it in, getting it in lock again. Pretty nice, yeah, pretty nice. The the boards will be uh, uh, inside a brass box, so we are going to make a brass box using four pieces of brass. To enclosure all the boards in a separated way so we don't have these effects here to stabilize the circuit. And primarily the, 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 the biggest uh, concern here is on the VCO I think. The VCO need to be very well, very well protected to not have thermal variations and don't suffer from near uh, uh, fields like this affecting its main frequency of resonance. Okay, here we have the sampler, taking a sample of the, the VCO, and I just wired it here for the test using wires. The wiring for the final set setup will need to be uh, much better than this, I think. And if, here we can take a look, guys, on the phase noise. The phase noise is um, worse than I imagined when I started the project. We can see here these buttons here and these buttons here are working so we can go here and you can measure here okay so at 100 kilohertz apart from, from the main tone we have negative 85 dbc per hertz i was think we would get a better result i don't know why this is so uh, is not good uh, it can we can try to improve it uh, with a better loop filter, we can try to improve it with a better VCO, I think, because the reference are very, very good now. We are using the signal generators. These signal generators here are amazing. So it's not a problem of, of phase noise of the signal generators, uh, I believe, okay? We can have, we can be having a little of degradation from the mixer, and the phase noise of the this Roland Schwartz signal generator here, but I also think this is not the problem. The main problem here is the loop filter or the VCO itself, okay? But guys, I'm very happy because 
this is the first thing I, I make a project like this with full integration, a lot of modules and uh, frequency striplers, a PLL, a sampler, and all of this is working really well here. So I'm very happy. If this is the best we can get here, I will be very happy with this because it's amazing to have it working. And we saw this project on the whiteboard and now we saw it here working. So I'm very happy with this. Um, and I need to study a little more about PLL theory to understand more the um, how the loop filter will change the phase noise response here. This is very difficult. PLL design is not a simple, th simple thing. Um, this is my design of, of the, 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 the charge pump. So this will not behave like a, a very well linear CMOS charge pump. So it's very difficult to, to model this. I tried to model this. I simulated simulated in LT Spice and I, I saw the response in Octave using the bold plot. I will, I will show off this in the next video to explain how I model the PLL and how, how I designed the loop filter. Um, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very happy because the, the, the overall aspects of the project are working really well here, guys. So the next, mo next mod model, module I will design is the reference to generate the 107.238 megahertz. And I need to get um, IC here that's not fake. This divider here is fake. I got a um, fake part from Ali AliExpress. So this divider here is not working properly. I need to get a good one to replace it. And I think this is the update, guys. Thank you for watching. And I see you in the next video of All Electronics. Please subscribe to the channel, the Patreon account, if you want to support my projects. And, re and receive uh, a spe special content on the Patreon. The Patreon link is in the description of the video. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and I see you in the next Electronics video.